Terry Rozier was on fire, but then you hold the entire squad to just 14 points in that final period. What did you like best about your defense down the stretch? You know, we just played hard. We, we persevered. Um, you know, we persevered. That's what we did. The best thing we did is we just, we stayed with it. We kept fighting. Um, we didn't let the big time shot he made at the end of the third quarter to put him up seven. We didn't let that, you know, gain them momentum. We didn't, you know, um, hang our heads. We just kept fighting, and, and that was the best thing. It was a very uh, difficult game, uneven. We did not play very well offensively. Um, they got to where they were shooting the ball really well, but we just kept fighting. I mean, there were times I was looking up, I, I'll be honest, wondering how we were where we were in the game because they were 10 for 22 at the free throw line. We're turning the ball over. I mean, we didn't play clean basketball, but we just kept fighting. And then defensively, I thought our guys did a much better job on the ball in the fourth quarter. And then Jackson was just there all the time, was there all the time. Best defensive game um, he's played this year. I'm glad you brought him up because he was my next question. He just seems to be growing up before our eyes, especially in this last little run here. What to you is the biggest improvement and growth in his game? Well, I think, you know, consistency. We talked about it before the game. He's been able to put together more games of playing well. And to come back off of the Philly game, into this game tonight and play well and play both halves well, I think is a, is a major, major step. And then, you know, to do what he did defensively and then hit the, uh, and then hit the game winner, basically. Um, great, great night for him. Happy for him. Coach, you go back to the second quarter, one of the factors that really started to turn it around was the fact that they were rebounding the ball offensively, specifically Zeller. He was really doing a good job, and it looked like that got cleaned up down the stretch, and they weren't able to get those second-chance opportunities. They had 13 second-chance points in the first half and zero in the second half. So huge, huge part of the game. Um, didn't think uh, we were physical enough, thought we were leaking out um, in the first half, not getting enough guys back, and in the uh, second half we got in and fought. Did you expect Nikhil to play this long? Uh, with, with such a long time, 18 games in over a month. 20, uh, 20 to 24 minutes is about what we were aiming for. I was talking to Tom Maystad on the bench, making sure that uh, we were okay. And I thought he played well, for, uh, especially for the amount of time he was off. Jackson, I know, you know you've talked about more consistent motor is you know, one of the keys to his success this season on the defensive end. Is there anything else you can, can point to why he has improved there? Jackson just walked in the room, so I can't be honest anymore. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I was talking you up. Ja Jackson sucked tonight. Are we kidding? Like, come on. The guy was awful. No. Um, listen, I, I think the key for, and I say this all the time, it's not just Jackson. It's young players in general. The key is consistency. The key is every night. I mean, you what you normally see in young players, right, is – up and down and up and down and up and down. And, and we had that with Jax, quite honestly, early in the year. And then he was out of the rotation and the whole thing. And now he's starting to string good games together. And that's what's important. Why? You can ask him. My guess is maturity, focus, experience. You know, um, you, know you get used to the grind. You get used to the preparation every day. But, uh, yeah, that's been, the, uh, that's been the difference. But he can talk to you about why. And Stan, you see that game ceiling bucket with McKeel going to Jackson there. Considering what those two guys have gone through this season, considering how important they are to the future of this franchise, do you take any extra meaning from something like that? Or do you, can you extrapolate that at all? Or, or is that a sports writer thing that we kind of look at that in a bigger way than they do? Well, I, yeah, I don't put too much into it. They're, they're two really good players. Like, you know, I, I, you know, they're two really good players, so they should be able to make plays like that. That's how I look at it. I mean, they're, they're good players. Nikhil made a good read because Biombo was coming to block. He's obviously a great shot blocker, and, but he was flattened out on the baseline. He was too far below Jackson. And so when uh, Nikhil flipped him the ball, Jackson was right there. And as you know, he's got great touch uh, in that area and, and knocked it in. So, I mean, a big, big-time play by Nikhil and a big-time finish by, uh, by Jax. 
Hey, Stan's uh, Andrew. Um, going back to Nikhil, I know you said he was he was in that twenty to twenty four range. W- was there a conscious effort to make sure that there was a chunk um, that he was going to be able to play the final three five minutes of the game? Yes, on on my part, on my part, he probably was not tired when we took him out. Um, in the fourth, but I wanted to be able to bring him back at the end because of his ability to break down defense. All right, thanks, Coach. Appreciate your time.